Alas. The, the outsider is basically, in the religion of the Abbey, he's basically the equivalent of the devil. Interesting. They talk about him as like, like the source of like evil and temptations and like resisting his wiles. And he's also attributed as the source of all uh, magic. Like people in, in the Dishonored universe, they know magic exists, but it's generally considered universally evil. Oh, that's a tripwire. Oh! Lucky I wasn't any closer than that, but yeah, it, sets, it fires off this like explosive bolt. <laughs> Greetings, Corvo, or should I say Lord Protector, as you are known before that title was wrongfully taken from you. We are servants of the Empire and the True Empress, a group of loyalists who want very much to meet you. Take these weapons, crafted for you of the finest materials in the Isles, and meet with our man Samuel, near where these tunnels spill into Renhaven River. All haste and luck. We share a common purpose. Anytime somebody says we share a common purpose, I always feel like you're going to get betrayed by them. Well, we'll have to see. Well, take this out. I got the crossbow. It's like the wrist mount, it's like this tiny... Andy got a nicer sword. Collapsible. Much nicer than that piece of crap I stole from jail. <laughs> the crossbow is basically your, if you want to kill people, relatively silently. You can pick guys off. And it also includes other ammo like sleep darts. We won't be using many sleep darts on this playthrough, I'm sad to say. And so is it silent? More or less. Or, or nearly. Or much closer to being so than the pistol, at any rate. Hmm. So what's these guys' story? Why are they dead? I don't know. It looks like there's some sort of criminal gang having some sort of rendezvous in here, and... I don't know, maybe the rats got to them, or... Well, they're not all eaten, so... That's true. Or they might they might have been plague victims who just crawled in here to die. Mm. Alright, embarrassing confession time here. There's this puzzle here where you find this thing that has... the numbers you need to open that safe. I, f I, I opened it fine my first playthrough. Second, this time I just completely forgot, and I wandered around like a moron for some time, trying to remember where it was. Ultimately in vain. So, I am bad at Dishonored. <laughs> and perhaps I should have warned you before you started watching this, but... It's fine. Off we go. Oh, another tripwire. Oh, my. Oh, okay, here's the puzzle with the, uh, jelly. Jelly, if you're too daft to remember, look to your whiskey for the answer. Whiskey, got it? If you want your share, you'll sort it out. If not, I'll come back for it next month. It's like, it's in a bottle or something somewhere, but I, 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 I looked, I tore this place apart looking for it. I never did, so I so I cut I cut a lot of that out basically because you don't need to see me wandering around like an imbecile. Did you brute force it, or did you just? Leave I it? just I just gave up. <laughs> I don't ha I don't have the I don't have the patience to brute force things. You know who we're hunting here? I kind of brute force this game as a whole, considering how many times I actually died that you don't see. <laughs> and try to make a lot of noise when you die. Knock something over. Um, the first time that I played. Uh, no, it's also, but the, there's like various items you can pick. In addition to money, you can find like valuable items that are that are worth money. And when you take them, it just they turn into money. Basically, you don't have to haul around a lot of crap in your inventory and sell it later. It's just Best. every. It's just Corvo just touches things and they turn into their cash equivalents. Maybe that's why he wears he wore gloves. That would explain. Yeah, it's like how King Midas couldn't couldn't touch people. Like he turned his own daughter to gold by accident. Yeah. Yeah, like if if Corvo if Corvo shook someone's hand, then they would just turn into a big pile of coins. 
<laughs> Although, how does he wear the gloves? Um, the gloves are worthless. Okay, that would make sense. They come here to die sometimes in the dark. Slip into the water. <sighs> Alright, now you're gonna about to see another one of the other ways you can horribly kill people in this. The drop kill. Yes. Basically, if you're high up above a guy, you can fall from a height and kill him before you hit the ground. And it breaks your fall, which is nice. So you can fall from a height that would normally hurt or kill you. And if there's a guy below you and you trigger your strike at the right time, then you land on him and kill him. It kills your momentum. Here he comes. And... Okay, I didn't do it properly that time. I forgot. <laughs> That'll have to wait till another time then to actually see that mechanic. <laughs> I'm sorry. I am not very good at Dishonored. I. What can I say? Don't worry. There will be lots of legit drop kills later on. So if your thirst for high altitude bloodshed has not yet been slaked. I need to see flyer moves. Do a shooting star press, <laughs> more likely. The next Dishonored game is going to have air combos and shit. I can't wait for it. <laughs> I, I hope there is a sequel. I'd, I'd, I'd like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I see what the Void... Like I said, Void is sort of the equivalent of hell. Although it's actually a bit more complicated than that in reality, as we'll see. Later on, you get a zoom fee a zoom function. It's one of those oh, down he goes. His friend is simply alarmed rather than concerned that there's a murderer. That's a common insult for some reason. I'm hagfish are pretty gross if you've ever seen a picture of one. I know you're here. Though it's not the first thing I'd think of to insult taunt someone. Oh. Oh yeah, they'll just pick up crap and throw it at you. Oh! Oh right in the throat. Ooh. Not fun. That's the end. Oh, that was a lot of fun, I'd say. Well, <laughs> it's a matter. It's all relative, really. Depends on what end of the blade you're on. Yes. Oh yeah, you... That's just what you're doing. You're in a plague-ridden city. Eat some rat meat you found in the sewer. It's totally nutritious. Little dining tip from Corvo Atano. Hey, kids. If you're in the sewer, just eat whatever. <laughs> if it looks like if it looks organic, then I think that one of the things you can loot for money is copper wire. That just amuses me. That makes sense. Well, it is. I mean, it's like I mean, it is valuable. I don't know, it just amuses me. It's like it's like I'm like the mafia looting a construction site or something. Well, and I I've been working in a construction site, and this like this guy is like always muttering to himself the current market value of copper. And one day we found out he was smuggling copper out of the construction site. He got fired. Oh, okay. But he was making like an additional uh, like hundred fifty dollars a day. Wow. Because he was just picking up loose copper. It wasn't like he didn't even steal any big blocks of copper. He was just taking loose copper that was cut okay. down. But it adds up. Yeah. Was he, he was a master of assassination as well? Uh, no, he was just a drunk. Okay. He came to work drunk and uh, he tried to hit me and he punched me in the face. Okay, here's Samuel. And I work for some Oh, I love this guy. Yeah, this guy's this guy's one of my favorite characters. He's your he's the boatman who takes you around basically. I'll take you to meet them. Just down the river from here. He remarks on if you're being a prick or not, right? Uh, eventually, yes. He's Samuel is kind of. I don't know he's kind of the moral center of the game, in a way. <laughs> now Samuel is played by Ryan. You know, here's now the game evaluates you at the end of each mission, as you can see. Twelve hostiles killed, b bodies found, alarms rung, and overall chaos high. If you get low. 
basically, the more people you kill and the more other certain other things happen, other actions you do, the higher your chaos. The higher your chaos, then in subsequent missions, there'll be one, more guards and other enemies, two, more weepers, who are basically victims of the plague, although they're kind of like zombies almost. And, like, just nastier stuff will happen over the course of the story. So you're saying you want to get the highest chaos possible. I, this playthrough, I am I am going all this out for chaos. Pub. Yeah. It's actually very pretty. Oh, it is. Right I'm trying to figure out if the fog is to hide the draw distance, or what? I don't know, the draw... I'm not sure. The, uh, the draw distance in this game is pretty impressive. Of course, if anyone finds out what we're up to, the watch will break in with swords drawn. And now that you've escaped, the Lord Regent is going to be tearing the city apart. All right. This is where you go before and after each mission, Take basically. Me, Admiral Havelock and the rest of the loyalists. The Admiral's a man to be reckoned with. If anyone can help you find that missing girl, Lady Emily, and clear your name, he can. Samuel. Samuel is played by Ryan Katrona, who uh, he was on. He was Admiral Smith on a bunch of episodes of Twenty Four. Done. It's interesting. Most of this game, this a lot of TV roles. It's interesting. A lot of the major voices in this game are mostly people who mostly did not do video games. A lot of like television actors. Oh, and also he was in the original Hot Shots. Which makes him a god among men in my eyes. <laughs> okay, here's the. I expect they're hard at work in there. Best Even in Dunwall, they don't let you smoke inside the pub. Whoever will have killed the Empress. No smoking. I think that was recently the law somewhere. No smoking inside bars. Well, it's been. Became that in, here in Illinois a few years ago. Oh, the Punisher lives here. Awesome. Yeah. You can't kill the rat plague. Oop. I guess that's what he calls himself now. Even at the Maybe he has rat-based powers? That would be the best. Yes. The Punisher that's just right. fed people to rats. He, was the personal body he has an unfortunate weakness to cheese. <laughs> 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 It's not even lactose intolerant. He just can't so pass cheese up. We all have our suspicions. We'll know the truth in time. He's strong and quick. But I hope he understands subtlety as well. Now here's this isn't one of your fancy here's dress parties. The here's the two guys we'll be getting most of our kill. assignments from. Have you ever killed a man? Only with my wit. But it's a fair point as always. He'll be here soon, and I'm looking forward to meeting him. 